person that's responsible for writing grants for your organization? And if so, how do you determine if a grant is worth your time to write? I would encourage you to have an evaluation process before you begin on an application. You need to look at the amount of time that it's going to take you to put an application together, the amount of information that you do not currently have, whether it's what's the purpose in the program, what are the goals and objectives, what are the evaluation methods, what's the budget, when do we need the dollars in hand, when will the project start, who else is funding the project, who else are we going to ask to fund the project. Um, how much information do you currently not have that you're going to have to either create or work with some other people to get, which we all know as grant writers is the hardest part of the puzzle, is having to wait on other people to provide information for us to fill in the blanks. That takes longer than creating information ourselves. Evaluate that. What are the other things that you have on your plate and how much money do they generate for your organization? Which one is a priority? Is this a long shot? Is this chasing dollars? Is your organization trying to create something just so they can apply for this grant? Um, what is going to be your return on investment if you get the grant? So let's say that you know how much you make an hour and you can really figure out it's going to take me 10 and a half hours to write this grant. So times whatever you make, that's the amount it's going to cost you to write it. And then think about the time it's going to take you to evaluate it. Do you have to write reports? Do you have to keep up with things monthly? Is it once a year? Is it just going to come in and you don't have to follow up on it at all? Is it a relationship that you need to build with a program officer or is it a more generic grant? So what is the total amount of time it's going to take for the amount of money you're getting? So figure out all those costs and then figure out what's the amount you're bringing in. Let's say it's a $5,000 grant and it's going to cost you a thousand dollars to write it. What's your return on investment and how much are you going to have to do to manage it? Are you creating a new program? Are you going to have to market to get new people in that program? What are all the pieces that go into it? Is it worth your time? Additionally, thinking about is it worth your time based on the size of the project? Okay, so if you're writing a five thousand dollar grant for a million dollar project, I would highly consider that you think about, is it worth my time? Is it worth the return on investment? Is there another grant that I could be writing for $50,000 for the same amount of time and energy that I'm putting in this little $5,000 grant? Now, if you are, if you're at the end of a capital campaign and you're just trying to get to the end and that $5,000 grant is going to help you get there, sure. Or if your whole campaign is $20,000 and you're just trying to do a particular project, that $5,000 grant might be perfect. If you're a brand new organization and you've never done any grant writing, your first grant for $5,000 might be a fabulous place to spend your time. But I very much consider all the factors that go into, is it worth my time? How much time is I actually spending on it? And what else am I doing at an organization that needs my time and attention that would bring in more dollars? Is it individual dollar um, donor asks? Is it a special event? Is it growing your endowment? Having a planned giving meeting with a, a high-end high, high -end donor? Um, is it creating a business sponsorship program? Is it going out and talking with corporate sponsors about renewing their gift from last year? Is it um, focusing on Giving Tuesday because act, most of the years you bring in a large amount on Giving Tuesday? Is it working on your end of year appeal? Is it working on an acquisition mailing? Like what are the other things that you have to be working on and is this grant worth your time? There are plenty of times that I have told organizations this grant is not worth your time. You have other things you can do to bring in more dollars more quickly than working on a grant. And just remember, grants are mostly competitive cycles and they're never guaranteed. Unless the person at the foundation, maybe maybe it's a family foundation, and maybe they've said to you, we're going to give you $5,000, you just need to fill out this form, right? Then it's pretty guaranteed. But most of the time, it's a competitive cycle and you do not know if you're going to receive funding. So I encourage you to work on things that you know you have some control over. If you're going to submit a grant application, submit the highest quality proposal that you can. Have it reviewed. Make sure that all your I's are dotted, all your T's are crossed, and do all of that and submit it and feel good about it. But know that there's no way you can guarantee whether or not you're going to receive that funding. And that's something that a lot of people at organizations, especially board members, do not understand. They feel like, if you write it, you're going to get it, so let's go out and get grant money. That's not how it works. 
So encourage you very much to sit down and analyze the time you're gonna spend on an application before you write it and determine, is this the best use of your time? And think about that as you go into 2018 with grant writing. If you need additional help with grant writing or you'd like someone to review your proposals for you and help them become stellar every month, if you'd like a free webinar um, to get you through and learn new educational concepts around grant writing and research and building relationships with foundations, if you'd like a private Facebook page to come to and ask questions about grants to consultants, to professionals in the field, and to co-workers across the country who are doing the same work that you are, we have a program called the Writer's Block, and that is exactly what we do every month, and it's very affordable. It's less than $100 a month, and if you're interested in that, go to the link at the bottom of the page and check it out, or email me, make comments in the post, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, my email address is mandy at fundingforgood.org, and our program is called the Writer's Block, so we would love to see you in that, and hope that you have a great writing month. Mm -hmm.